Welcome back, guys. I'm here with Jared from Zombie Studios, creators of Blacklight Retribution. This is very cool. You guys are an indie studio, and you're making a game that people don't normally associate with indie studios. You are making a competitive, yeah. free-to-play shooter. It's not quirky or... Yeah. It, it, yeah, it's a really weird one. How it's, many like xylophones are on the soundtrack? None. What? Yeah. Are you sure you're it's, indie? It's, <laughs> not, it's it, there needs to be like another another version of that. Like the yeah. Warframe guys, like they're indie, but it's yeah. it's it's it, I don't know. It's like shooter indie or not so indie or not so, so sort of semi indie. Yeah, but but so, but this know, is this is a free to play shooter that has been out uh, on the PC for a little while, and you're bringing it to the PS4. Is it still going to be free to play? Yes. Still download like download only, free to play. Uh, it's it's going to be awesome. Very it's cool. Very, so tell, very tell me a little bit if we are uh, unfamiliar. That's that's actually that's, Outlast, I think, actually, up on the screen. That's actually Daylight, my it's other game. Daylight. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Huh. That's cool. Well, it's good to know that you guys are doing other stuff that looks as as rad as Blacklight. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> uh, but so sneak, while we're uh, while we're getting some Blacklight <laughs> up and ready. Break down what's special about Retribution as a shooter. Like, what sets it apart from some other shooters? You know, the the fact that Retribution is free to play is huge. Uh, it's using next gen tech. Uh, where you, we we took Unreal Three yeah. over. Uh, the great part about Unreal Three and, and the last gen was it wasn't utilizing being utilized the way that most games are. Um, doesn't have you know it now has like complete you know fancy shaders, yeah. all the cool stuff that we weren't able to see. We have a lot more texture memory, so everything can look a lot crisper. The whole game's just, it looks awesome. And, and, and when we got Blacklight running on the, on the PlayStation, we cranked up everything, yeah. and we're doing a lot of great stuff, and we're gonna be hitting smoke in frame rates. That's really interesting, coming from the PC doing a first-person shooter and saying, when I put it on this console, I was finally able to turn up all the things that I wanted to turn up. Yeah, that's the really, really exciting part, but it also allows us to control and define, mm. and not only that, but add in, in areas that we, you know, we had to make from inspect PCs. That's yeah. like a common thing with the PC market is you have to make it for the lowest, you know, guy. Yeah. But now we can crank it up. We have one skew, one thing to worry about. Throw as many polys in, in good areas, make environments look better, make more things complex, you yeah. know, complex shaders and really dial it in just for that one thing. So it's gonna look amazing and so exciting. That's awesome. So, I mean, aside from the look, aside from the tech, and once we get it up here, you guys are gonna see it's a beautiful, beautiful game. Here we there go. There we go. Um, there is, for a competitive shooter, there is, there's a real team focus. And games say that they do team focus, right. you know, and team focus in shooters usually means you shot a guy that was about to shoot your friend and now everybody gets XP, but you guys go a little bit deeper than that. We're, it's, it's really cool. We've partnered up with both the MLG and ESL and we're learning a lot from them. And, but the big thing is we're listening. Yeah. And we're, instead of, instead of like, you know, there's a bunch of amazing games that got announced and they're huge. It's like, you know, big, big giant environments, but really the competitive, like the truly competitive games are, yeah. 4v4, mm -hmm. and that's what we're going to be focusing on, is, is making the experience very, very tight and very, very focused for that. We'll still have our large maps that yeah. can have a bunch of people playing, but we really want to make a, a, a very strong competitive game that a lot of guys can get in and get your, your three buddies yeah. and really compete, because competition's huge, and, yeah. and it's, a, it's a big buzzword right now but we really want to make sure that it's it's that great experience. So you get in there with your buddies, you're having you're you're doing your standard competitive modes, but you guys have a couple modes that are very different that you actually added in towards the end of last year on the PC. Can you right. tell us a little bit about those two modes? Well, it we we found that the game is so fast-paced and so intense that you need to be able to play against bots mm -hmm. and AI. So we added a horde mode that allows you to kind of get some of your buddies yeah. and relax. Because really, even if you're playing the worst human, yeah. they're doing wild things that you weren't expecting them to do. So it's it's a very, very hardcore game and it's very fast. So you know, after a half an hour, an hour, you don't have blood going to your hands anymore. Uh, and, and it's one of those things where we wanted to make a, a, a game mode that allows you to kind of 
okay, let's get together, let's have fun, and, and that's that's what we're doing, and we're adding more stuff to that. And the great thing about free to play is constantly updating with free content. Yeah. It's not a DLC pack that you need to buy that splinters off the fan base. If you're playing it, you're gonna be, everyone's gonna be on the same wavelength. Awesome, so um, let's talk about the look here and the feel. You guys have uh, something called the hyper-reality visor in yeah. this game. That is awesome. Tell me about how that works. So HRV is a, uh, a, a way to have complete combat awareness. You click it on and you can see everything and everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, we have ways to fool players. You have HRV decoys where you, you see someone and it's funny because we added and we didn't think it was gonna work. Yeah. But people being away or putting their controller down, it, you instantly think easy kill them, they go and get them. Yeah. And so there's a lot of times where you think someone's there and you're gonna get that easy kill and wait, what, what? And, and we have what's called combat alchemy where you can use uh, uh, ways to hide inside of HRV okay. that they can't see you and you can kind of fish for people and all this crazy. This is so interesting to me because it's essentially giving people sort of a no walls hack, but it gives everybody a no walls hack. Exactly. And it changes the way you think with your squad and the way you approach things because you know that they can always be seeing you, you could always be seeing them. Yeah, and that's and that's the, the really cool part is when we started giving these to, and, and we're paying attention to the players and we're also watching a lot of the, 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 the players playing together thanks to YouTube twitch and all yeah. of that and it's cool to see them kind of stare like one guy does it says where they are the other guy does it and so there's all of this communication that's happening a lot more versus there's a guy on B or there's a guy on, it's it's yeah. everyone can say like go this way go that way and you would think that it would break the game like yeah. we when we did it, it was like got this idea just let's do it for a week see yeah. if it works and we tweaked it and balanced it for a week and it was like, when you do it, you can't fire. There's yeah. a there's a, a small warm up and cool down time. Gotcha. You can't keep on spamming it, so it has to it has to re regen. And what happened was instead of you running and getting shot in the butt all the time, yeah. and that's usually what happens, <laughs> all of the combat faces and it and yeah. it's become more true skill now. So, so it's you really take cool. out those sort of like really, really dumb human errors and let people play at the top of their game. Let's talk about customization in Blacklight because this, this is huge. Yeah. The weapon customization here is insane. <laughs> like, tell me about this. It's been a major pain in the butt to balance, I'll tell you that much. Believe it. Um, so every gun is completely customizable as well as uh, the main customizable characters. So your head, your body, your, your, your gear that you can use, even the type of uh, tactical gear that you carry with you. So like medics or, or uh, re resupply guys, all of that stuff. And there's all sorts of different deals. You define how you want to play yeah. by that. And, it's, and, and so there's no classes. It's really, it's really a fun thing to do, but then your gun becomes, and if, if you have a gun in front of your face the entire yeah. time, you want to, Kind of make it how you want to play, and, and it's been really cool with that. And we've got. I mean, so in addition to in addition to functionality customizations, there are just sort of like decorative function. Like, you, can, you can paint it pretty colors, great. And, and all of that stuff. <laughs> and it's really funny because whenever we do demos, I have to go. Okay, everyone, stop playing Barbie dress up. Let's start shooting each other. Because when you do it, you're like, oh, oh, and you're you're min maxing to your type of play style or. You're just having all of this crazy stuff. I find myself just sitting there like, oh, I'm gonna do this. So how many different combinations, how many different parts are we talking about here? Oh gosh, uh, I wanna say we're about 75 different items yeah. throughout the game. Okay. And, and we're constantly uplo uploading more. Like for the PC, we're still uploading more. We're yeah. still putting out new maps. And so that's all gonna roll into this version. So that but there's up, millions, I mean yeah. literally millions of different combinations of your weapon plus your character. So that brings up like two really big questions when you think free to play and you think about a game that started on the PC. So number one, free to play, heavily customizable. Am I getting in there and do I have to shell out 15 bucks immediately to be competitive? How often am I winning these things versus paying for these things? Right, right. Um, that's, that's kind of, it's, it, it's kind of, bread to as soon as you hear free to play you instantly say pay to win you get worried yeah and what we do is we make it so no items are like over like completely overpowered i mean we do a lot of balance that's our big focus especially with competitive yeah um everything can be bought 
with in-game points. Mm -hmm. And so there's not something that we hold away from someone. Yeah. When we release weapons, we make them premium and then we put it into the, into the, cash, into the game cash okay. store, uh, usually a month after, but you can also get that weapon uh, as a preset the entire time. We really want to keep the focus of the, you know, a balanced player versus, you know, nickel and diming you. And, and right. we're actually changing the monetization for, for the PlayStation quite a bit, and we want to make it so players can get in and get their stuff a lot cheaper. So, I mean, because this is coming uh, after the PC version, are a lot of those weapons just going to be unlocked from, from Go? We want to make them, we want to, I mean, a lot of the content, I mean, if, yeah. we put, if we put all the content out, I think that people might be inundated. We're, we're still figuring out what we're going to release. Yeah. We're not going to put every single map out just because the PC and console are so different. When we put out Blacklight Tango Down, we had a completely different fan base because it was very, very console. Yes. And then Blacklight on the PC has a completely different fan base, I feel. But with the PlayStation 4, yeah. I think that all of those fan bases, Xbox guys, like hardcore Xbox guys, because honestly, I was a hard, hardcore Xbox guy. Sure. And it was because the controls, the controller, the physical controller was so awesome. Yeah. But as soon as we got the PlayStation 4 controller, it's good. It's, it's a very amazing. good controller. It's so great. They did such a good job at just taking all the bad pieces and keeping all the good. It fits right. It's like, you know, you don't have to have small hands. You can yeah. be normal. You know, it's it's just it's really really cool. But the thumbsticks are dialed in. Yeah. It feels awesome. And then the touchscreen has been. That's been the greatest thing. As soon as I heard yeah. about that, I was like, my my biggest worry was from PC, all the different keys, one, sure. two, three, F1s, all that stuff. That was a very big concern of ours. And now with the touchscreen, you can mix, mix and match different gestures on it, and it gives us all the buttons that yeah. we need. And it's it's been awesome to do. That's awesome. So coming from the PC, something that people get a little worried about on the console side, with shooters that started on the PC, is the console version gonna keep up? Are we gonna keep getting these updates that the PC players get? What's what's the plan for parity there? The console's gonna be the lead. Um, it's, we, we do not wanna splinter them off. Mm -hmm. uh, because we're driving and we're publishing with Sony's help, mm -hmm. this game all, all on our own, 100% skin is in the game. We wanna make sure this succeeds. And so we're going to be focusing a lot on this, but all of that stuff will hopefully trickle to the PC and, and so all the other territories. Console first and then Console PC. first, mostly because we're developing it. And, That's awesome. you know, we, we believe 100%. That's why we're doing this. It's, it's not like we went to another publisher to, to have them help us do this. Zombies paying to bring this to, to the console, and it's, and it's really exciting. And, and, and this is definitely the game that we want to bring out, and we're very proud of it. That's awesome, man. So uh, PS4 players, PC players, are they going to be able to jump into a match together? Is that, is that in the cards? We're, oh, <laughs> man. It would be really cool. Yeah. Uh, there is talk. There's technical talk. There's, there's different business people that are in different buildings sure. that need to kind of come and, and sit down and figure out if we can do it. Okay. I would love it, but it's going to be so different because you have some insane PC players and we'll have some insane console players, but I don't know. I don't know. I mean... <laughs> but you do. It's like that HRV visor. Maybe you just put it in the game, you try it out. Get, get, let it, let it happen that. for a week, we'll see. Maybe we we'll do see. that. Uh, any more modes on the way? Any more modes that are going to come out with the PS4 launch? There's a lot of stuff that we want to do. Okay. Um, it's, it's a lot of game mechanics, it's a lot of new toys, but really the big thing that we want to make sure is as soon as we can get it onto the console. We, wanna, we want desperately to put this on yeah. as soon as it gets into someone's house. Um, and the big focus is going to make sure that the controls, the mechanics yeah. are just as dialed in as possible. And then we'll start putting all of the fun new things into it. But right yeah, on, I man. mean, we, 
we want to just let this live. I mean, yeah. free to plays usually have five, six, seven year lifespans. It's not like we put one out every year. It's we put it out and we let it evolve and we change it as much as we can. And that's kind of what we're going to do. Very cool. Dude, thank you so much yeah. for showing this off. It looks amazing.